Norris to the plate. First pitch from Tedesco is a curveball. Misses 1-0. and Teddy has shown great control here. And keep my opinion, I've always thought Tedesco was better as a starter. Yeah, what do you think? He's proven that over the years. You know, he's proven that uh, he's got the job done when Coach Janoskos went to him for the starter. That was a fly ball to center. And one away as Galasso makes the catch. So through four and a third, Teddy's given up just two hits today. What did he do the first time, Matt? Just one run in seven innings? Uh, one unearned. Yeah, it was one unearned. South Florida? Yeah, he's doing the job. Never gets rattled. Teddy never gets rattled. Except on uh, bus trips down. Except on bus trips, yeah. <laughs> Was he? He was quite rattled on that trip, yes. Oh, good. Here's the pitch from Tedesco to Baum. That's Fly ball on the out. left. Fear on the run makes the catch. You you weren't worried about that one at all, were you, Coach? No, he's, they can't hit that. He's, he's going to go all seven. We're in the top of the fifth. So far, Tedesco has struck out three, given up just two hits. Three hits. Three hits, I should say. And walked one. Give Garrett credit on the other side, though. He's losing this game one nothing, but he has pitched well. He's given up just two Bearcat hits on the day. Both were in the same inning. Popped up out of play. One and one. We're in the top of the fifth. Tedesco against Swope. Swope on the day is 0 for 2. Fly out to left and a ground out to second. Now batting here in the fifth. It's a hit. That's a base hit up the middle on one hop to Galasso. So Altoona has their fourth hit of the game with two outs. Bring up Danver, the cleanup hitter. Matt Janosko pressed into double duty here. No. Uh, that was Swope that got the hit, excuse me. You said his name like four times during the back. Well, I don't listen to myself. Pitch out. Pitch out. Called by coach down there, I guess. I missed runner didn't go. You didn't see that sign? Well, no. you can't see the dugout too well from there. I couldn't have seen it if I was sitting next to it. <laughs> when you sit next to him, you got to watch out for those flying batting helmets yeah, there, right? That's, that's a problem. They kind of get up, jump up, and hit you in the well, face well, before you. Happens, you call Weimer Medical Services. That's right. If that happens, you do call Weimer Medical Services. We'll fix you up. We ain't lying to you. Good play by Victor there. Good play by Victor. Victor blocks that one. Even if he loses a lot of blood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got the comments rolling in now that Coach Harmon's on the air. Good pitch. Mm. Base hit out in the left. Somebody said to uh, just go kick a ball around, Keith. Uh, uh. Uh, let's see. Pressed into service here. Question for Coach Harmon. Yes, How is Puddles? Uh, that's his uh, given name. I call him Putty. Putty's doing well. He sheds a lot. <laughs> but uh, as long as you feed him, he's a good cat. Anybody out there want to adopt a cat, they could just call me. I'm looking to have Putty adopted. I'm actually allergic to him. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, you okay down there? <laughs> All the things that go on up in the booth. So you're trying to adopt out your cat? Yes, yes. I'm allergic to him. I'm allergic to the hair, the cat hair. I've never had a cat before, and I get all stuffed up at night and stuff. Is it true that you're trying to adopt out about 10 soccer players, too? I'd like to adopt my team out to anyone that wants it also, <laughs> yes. Counts one and one now on Danver with two runners on. Pitch in the dirt, two and one. Putty's my cat, uh, Uncle Matt. Oh, is that the one you're trying to give to me? Uh, I would. You claim the love so much? I do. I just, I'm allergic to him. Action in the Bearcat bullpen. You can't just admit that you're an angry old man. Alex Kazusko starting to loosen up, as is Jeremy Maines. Gotta get this batter, Jeff. Gotta get out of this inning. Two on, two out, two and one the count. To Danver. Pitch is driven down the left field line. That is foul. Good pitch. 2-2 two, two is the one we got to get. Let's go, 
So once again, a couple of righties up for the Bearcats in the bullpen. Kazusko and Maines. No activity in the Penn State Altoona bullpen. I think he's done warming up, Jeff. Oh, good. Swing pitch. and a miss on the curveball, oh, and the ball. inning is over. Good T pitch, Teddy. Tedesco gets his fourth strikeout and gets out of the jam once again. We'll go to the bottom of the fifth. St. Vincent hanging on one to nothing over Penn State Altoona. Uh, I've actually seen the Burger Firehouse Company in working. And Have you seen it working? Is it quite a, is it quite a product? Waynesburg, yes. Okay. It's quite a something to see. I mean, they, they get into action real quick. Great, great company, great company. Burkhardt at the plate, 1-0. and The count on Brad Burkhardt, the Bearcats shortstop. Brad on the day, 0 for 1. Grounded out the first in the first inning and then sacrifice in the third. Leading off the Bearcat half of inning number 5 That's here. That's it. That's going to go into the gap in left center. Center fielder cuts it off. Burkhart will have to stop with a long single. Got the little trobe connection up here. Burkhart and Bush. Second baseman, number 27, Zach Bush. Zach Bush singled back in the third. He is one for two. Let's see if we can catch this on, Jeff. Well, I think he's going to put a bunt down for an infield single. Oh, I missed that one. Sorry. <laughs> Bearcats one run, three hits on the day. Probably change the indicator on me. Here's the pitch to Bush. He's Good laying down the bonnet. It's nicely bond. done. The pitcher on to first for the out. Moves the runner down to second. So Zach Bush does his job on the 1-3 sack. Moves Burkhart to second with one out. It's going to bring up Kazusko. Zach Bush always does the little things. He does the little things that help the team to win. Solid fundamentals. Solid fundamentals. Can we credit Jason for that? Yeah, his father taught him well. His father taught him a lot of fun. But Burkhart, too. They're both fundamentally sound, both of them. Here's the pitch to Kazusko. Chopped foul outside of third. Coach Janosko will barehand that one. Not giving him too much credit, though. That was more than about a half mile an hour by the time it got to him. That wasn't too good of a play. His hands are full? Okay. <laughs> they got to get to this guy to send in, I think. Runner at second, one out, 0-1 to Kazusko. He has walked and struck out today. Actually leads the Bearcats in both of those categories on the season. Now he also has had a bit part in the uh, Major League movie. Did he? Yeah, he was uh, Clue Haywood. I was believe. he? Yes. So, a lot of people didn't know. No, I didn't. Did not know that. He has a swing and a miss. An actor. One and two. Giving him all off speed stuff. Kazusko, Bearcats, number three hitter in the order. Pitch is over his head to the backstop, and that's going to move Burkhardt up 90 feet. That would got away from Garrett. <laughs> How could he lay off a pitch that close? That one just missed, huh? Uh, that was up the second level on the backstop. Count now two and two on Kazusko. Swing and a miss. Big pitch by Garrett as he's got Kazusko for the second time. Now two down in the inning. That's going to bring up Galasso. Galasso singled and drove in. The only Bearcat run. In fact, the only run of the game. That was back in the third inning. We're in the bottom of the fifth. Scheduled to go seven here in game one. And it's the first game of a doubleheader today here on the Bearcat Sports Network. That's and right, that is down the right field it. line. Oh. Foul. Oh, just went foul down the right field line. As Galasso. I thought he might have had the, uh, another RBI there. Yeah, it looked like it was going to be down in the famous Bearcat Triangle down there in right field. Bearcat Triangle. Yeah, that's a, that's a tough right field to play. Well, also what you have over there uh, where the uh, pitchers were, we have Bearcat Lake. That uh, when, we get, when we get some rain, that's Bearcat Lake over there. That's one of the toughest right fields in the league here. Here's the pitch to Galasso, that's and same that's place. there. Same place, that's but this one's fair. At least the double. Galasso will round first. He'll pull into second with the stand-up double. RBI scores. Burkhardt and the Bearcats lead it two to nothing. That's a big run. Galasso with both runs batted in today. 
And the Bearcat lead is now two to nothing. Big hit by Zach. First baseman, number 45, Mike Hesteva. Well, Zach showing why he's leading the team in batting today. As two for three with two runs batted in. Bearcats up two to nothing. As Hesteva goes down to talk to Their coach, is just as big as coach Janosko. We've got a conference on the mound. Yeah, Glasso's consistent. You rarely see him have two bad games. Joe Piotti out there talking to his pitcher. He's in his 16th season. Coach Mick Janosko in his 15th here at St. Vincent. Mike Costeva will step in. The big engine is 0 for 2 today. As flied out to right and center. First pitch is outside, 1 and 0. Very good. Doug got getting a little excited down there. Wow. Comment coming in from listener. Harmon is offering great insight. Keep him on as the color commentator. There's up the middle. That's another run there. Base hit for Hesteva. Galasso will score. It's 3 to nothing as Mike Hesteva gets the RBI. Keith, your, your fans are, are tuning in now. Yeah. Well, Hesteva's been clutch all season. He's, he's getting the clutch hit. That's important. Got to win those games. That, call, that, uh, that comment Andy coming in Jackson from Jackson from Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Yeah, he's a good guy. He had red hair, didn't he? <laughs> yes, he did. Does that, does that make him any less good or what? No, you're okay. Andy okay. Jackson was a was a good ball player. Harmon's not coaching. Coincidentally, not. Yeah. That's why they've had such a great start. Because no Keith Harmon this year. Let's drag him down. Vasquez at the plate. Uh, Keith, we were debating the other day. 40-yard dash between Vasquez and Bush. Well, batsman. Yeah, Vasquez takes that one on the sleeve, and he'll take his base. We've now got runners at first and second for Jack Schaefer. So what's your, what's your you opinion know, on that? I, I think it would be a good fundraiser for the team. Uh, uh, you know, they're always fundraising. Just keep on coming. I don't know if uh, they're going to change a pitcher. But I don't know if anybody would pay to see that. That's... Yeah, you could start that today, and it wouldn't finish till tomorrow. <laughs> the 40-yard dash. Yeah. All right. Well, we've got a pitching change here. Garrett is going to be removed, and coming in to pitch will be number 31. Is that a 31? I can't see that. 30. Far. Yeah. This kid's already been in the game. He's 31. It is number 31, Matt Ungst from Claysburg, PA, a senior. Matt Ungst will take to the mound as we'll take a break during this pitching change. Wasn't he already in the game? Jack Schaefer will stand in against Angst. Angst on the season has appeared in two games. He's been a starter both games, win a complete game. On the year, ERF 7.56, 8.1 innings, 11 hits, 7 earned runs, 3 walks, 9 strikeouts. Need a, need a bingle here. Need a bingle here, Jeff. Bingle. One and zero, the count fouled back. One and one. <laughs> Here's the pitch to Schaefer. Inside, two and one. Well, the big engine's getting a sizable lead out there at second. Esteva at second, Vasquez at first. Bearcats lead this one three nothing in the bottom half of inning number five. And uh, Vasquez at first is the furthest he's ever been off the base. There's the pitch fouled back by Schaefer. Three steps. He's out there. Of course, the first baseman's on the infield grasp. Uh, he's, <laughs> he's, he's out, out there. there. Nonetheless, take the lead when you can get it. Yeah, take it when you can get it. The big end is really causing some problems there. <laughs> two and two, the count to Schaefer. Inside to Schaefer count goes full. Big pitch. We're gonna have him running. Yeah, looks that way. Two down, three two. They're off, Jeff. 
Yeah, we'll be seeing some running here from the uh, base pass, and Schaefer awaits the 3-2 pitch. Taking a long time holding the stave on. Runners go. It's inside. Ball four to Schaefer. Bases are full of Bearcats. You know, it's amazing, Jeff, how the uh, Bearcat team speed decreases every year. <laughs> it, it's not exactly the fastest lineup we've ever seen, is it? No, oh, it seems to get slower every year. We've got Hesteva at third, Vasquez at second, and Schaefer at first. That's a big hit here. Big hit. Victor with the bases loaded and two down here in the bottom half of inning number five. Filed back 0 and 1. Fick's got to find a gap here. Find a gap. He's flown out to center and flown out to right in his previous at bats today. The 0 1 2 Fichter. Called strike 0 and 2. Looks a little outside there. Game one of our doubleheader today. Bearcats leading 3 nothing. bottom half inning five. Outside to Fichter, one and two. One and two, the count on Eric Fichter. Bases chock full of Bearcats. Fouled away. <laughs> Fouled down into the football field. Get all three runners in, Jeff. I think he's going to have to go yard. One and two still to Fichter. Angst on the mound in relief of Garrett. Here's the pitch. Fouled away. You looking for the first? It's a possibility. Esteva might be running, you think? Well, you never know. I think he's thinking about it. Here's the pitch. Oh, he got it. He got, got it. a piece of it and fouled it back. Let's get break this game wide open. Base hit. Vasquez, you know he's in on a single. <laughs> so we got two for sure. Infia, yeah. Five, five nil here if it gets a single. This isn't soccer. You can't That's, say nil. Got that. There it is. There and it a is. right field looping in, yes, drops sir. in. Look at Vasquez. Not a chance. Not a chance. <laughs> Alonzo hustles home as well. Esteva and Vasquez score. It's a two-run single for Eric Fichter. Keith, you called that one. Uh, that was a big hit. That broke it open. That broke it open. Five-nothing Bearcats. Joey Fear. That's called a bingle there, that last hit. It's a bloop single, it's a bingle. Okay. That was well, a bingle. That's what you need. Close the books now on Garrett as he is responsible for all five runs. And they are all earned. Joey Fear at the plate takes a ball to start things out. 1-0. Well, there's no more speed on the base now than there was before, Jeff. Yeah, right now, Bearcats with Fichter at first. Schaefer at second. That's in there, another bingle, another yeah. bingle. A little looper out into right center for a there base hit Schaefer. by Fear. Schaefer around third, he will score, and it's six to nothing, Bearcats. Two bingles, there you go. Six straight runners on for the Bearcats in this inning. They have batted around, and we'll go back to Burkhart. How many guys we batted this inning? This is the number 10 coming up. 10, batted Burkhart around. Six to nothing. First time up. Burkhart singled and scored earlier this inning. All right. He can't tie a record then. Yes, he can. Get a single. He had two hits in the same inning. Sorry about that, fans. So the Bearcats have batted around here in the bottom half of inning number five. Now lead the game six to nothing. Pitches up high. He's safe. Oh, the old <laughs> delayed steal. Delayed steal. Victor takes some fear into yeah. second. And the Bearcats now make it seven to nothing as Victor has stolen home. 
I bet you look that up in the record books. That's the first time Victor's ever stole home in his life. The duck was waddling there that time. The what? The, the what? duck. They call him the duck. He runs like a duck. Aha. Uh -huh. Bearcats have broken this game wide open. Now seven to nothing here. Six runs here in the bottom half of inning number five. Fear at second. Burkhardt at the plate. He's got a 1 1 count. Strike called. 1 and 2 now to Burkhardt. Yeah, Burkhardt taking him down that right field line. That right field is awful shallow. You know, Keith, we often talk about one of our sponsors here. This It's uh, your company, the Keith Harmon Life Coaching Services. Yeah. Uh, how's, the, how's the business going for you? Well, I'm not getting paid. I, I'd like to get to be into the consulting uh, part of it, you know, where they actually pay you to come in and give people advice. I'll give you 300 bucks for an hour. <laughs> 300 dollars for an hour. I've heard that before from Matt. <laughs> Out of play down the right field line. I think he's going to put one down the triangle down there. That right fielder, look at him. Look how short shallow he is. Very shallow. So you're uh, you're waiting for Burkhart to go the opposite way with one? The opposite way, and that should get Joey in. Pitch to Burkhart. Well, he skies this one outside of third base. Third yeah, baseman comes over, one. takes a look, and it is out of play. Keith Harmon, our special guest here in the broadcast booth today. Is that uh, who's that that pulled it in the silver uh, ride there up there in left field? Looks uh, like maybe Darren Lippert, former Bearcat. Yeah, the uh, left field uh, loonies have not been out uh, yet today. They're probably in class. Oh, pitch catches Burkhart. On the back, so he'll take first base on the hit by pitch. That's going to bring up Zach Bush. There's the 2 0 pitch to Zach Bush. Called strike two and one. I thought that was a little low, I think. <laughs> Usually if he's nodding his head, it's not because he's agreeing with the uh, call. Two one to Bush outside. Throw the snap throw to first. That was, uh, Chase Burkhart back and Fear just took third on the play. So that was the snap throw from the catcher, and Fear wasted no time. As soon as the catcher made that throw down to first, Fear took off for third, and he's in there standing up. Base runner. Runners at the corners now with the 3-1 count to Zach Bush. 3-1 to Bush, high and outside. He is drawing a walk. Bush is on base. That's all they say. Bush is on base. <laughs> base is now full of Bearcats once again. Kazusko and head coach Joe Piotti is coming out to talk to his pitcher. As Kazusko is going to get ready to stand in, he is 0 for 2 today. Base is loaded. Their lipper lines are starting to assemble out there. Hopefully, we can get him a granny. Everybody think granny right now. Granny, granny, granny. <laughs> and we're going to have a pitching change as Angst is done, and it's going to be number two, Trevor Connor coming in. Trevor Connor will come in. He's from Dharan, Saudi Arabia. And he is in to pitch for Altoona. We'll have a slight delay here. We'll take a little break during the pitching change. So a lengthy uh, pitching change here. As Connor is on to pitch, Trevor Connor. Everybody thinking granny. Trevor is the reigning AMCC Pitcher of the Year. Won his ninth game. In the NCAA tournament last May, an upset win over Adrian. So he is the uh, ace of their staff. This year, though, a uh, one-on-one -one record in two starts, 630 ERA. He's given up 28 hits in 10 innings. So uh, struggling to find his best stuff yet this year. But in those 10 innings, he does have just one walk and 10 strikeouts. And 
Pollard. Kazusko has his sixth hit batsman of the season, and he is going to destroy Crawley's. Two count there, yeah. That was on an 0-2. Among the nation leaders in that He has one. to be, as it's now 8 nothing. as Fear scores. The bases remain loaded with Seven Bearcats. Galasso. Galasso will now step up with the bases loaded after the hit batsman. Long inning here. This is the 13th Bearcat batter of the inning. Nine straight batters have reached base after two outs. Look at that. Look at the lead Zach Bush has out there in second after this next pitch. He's halfway to third. Three hit batsmen this inning. Vasquez, Burkhardt, and Kazusko. Look at his secondary lead. Amazing. Well, when you have such speed, that's he, what happens. That's fought out of play. He does everything. He does everything. He's ripe time for Glasso's first home run of the year. Counts now two and one. Good home run pitch here. Good home run pitch. Oh. Missed it. We've received a comment from the president of the official Matt Janosko fan club. Thank you for your comments. <coughs> Harmon can never leave the booth now that they're rallying. This is a different thing. He's never going to leave anyways. He can't walk. I thought uh, maybe we had a uh, message from former president uh, Jim Tui, who's down Ava Maria now. No, we do moments. not have that. Thank you. Three and two now, the count on Galasso. Base is full. Three and two with two down. Burkhardt at third, Bush at second. Kazusko first, runners break. Fouled out of play. Yeah, this has been an awful long inning. Uh, you know, us old people, sometimes we can't sit this long without having to do some things. You all right so far, Keith? Uh, pretty much so. Okay. They're off and running. So, still three and two. Three two, by guys are moving. There it goes. We'll Deep to you. right center field. Over his head. And center fielder will make the catch. And that got hung up a little bit. And the inning is over. But the Bearcats score seven times in the inning on six hits, three hit batsmen. There were three runners left on base. Five hits, three runners left on base, two walks, three hit batsmen. And the Bearcats will now head into the top half of inning number six, leading this one eight to nothing. So that defensive change for the Bearcats, the animal, Nolan Russell, now out in left field. And quite the storyteller I hear, Keith. He's uh, That's what I've heard. Yeah, that's what I heard. I like to apologize to the Zach Glasso fans. Uh, I thought that ball was hit better than it was the last inning. There's a pop-up. Popped up. Zach Bush calls for that one, and he'll make the catch one away here in the top of the sixth. Tedesco, a lengthy break, but he's back out there now. Up. Shortstop, Nate Bennett. Alex Kazusko, I should say, warming up. Are they twins? I don't believe so. No? No, they're... Okay. Bennett at the plate. He has struck out and uh, grounded into a fielder's choice. All right. Line shot. Burkhart oh, climbs the ladder and makes the catch. Nice play by Brad Burkhart. Very, very good play. Burkhart's one of the best shortstops around. Two down here after the nice play by Burkhart. Designated hitter Jared Lick. Timed that leap perfectly. Ooh. That's look pretty good. Yeah, called a ball. Now two and zero oh to the batter licked. He on the day is 0 for 1, a strikeout and a walk. 
Tedesco working in the sixth here. That's a base hit out in the right field. On that triangle down there. There he goes. And he's going to run to second as Kazusko bobbled it a little bit, and he'll take second. It's going to be a single and an E9. Ooh. Double? Double, yeah. That's down the triangle. That's that's a tough. I hit. thought he bobbled it. No, that no, no. What? No. They're giving me a hard time. I no. thought he bobbled it. All right, they're gonna give him a double. The no, official no. score is over there, no, giving no. him a double. That's down in that triangle. You, it's a far run on that field. Dude. All right. No, his his body was going okay. away from the field too. Line shot, fair ball inside the line, down at third. That's gonna score a run. And so that is going to be the uh, double for Auer Auerbeck, and he's got his first hit of the season, and it's an RBI double. I thought he bobbled it. I looked down. He didn't get the ball picked up cleanly, and the guy took second. It's the toughest field in the league to play. All right. You know, I don't. I don't think it was in there in person. Okay. I'm not the official score. We'll check the replay on that later. Check the replay. I think that uh, layoff, that long layoff, might have slowed Teddy down a little bit. Yeah, Kazusko still, uh, he's starting to get a little more intense with the uh, warming up down in the bullpen now. That's a long time to sit there in the dugout. Left-hander Norris at the plate. He singled, was caught stealing, and flew out. One for two today. That's an out. Esteva will take it himself on the ground out, and the inning is over. Altuna gets one run back. We've played five and a half. It is St. Vincent eight, Penn State Altoona one. Leading off the bottom of the sixth inning, the first baseman, Mike Esteva. Bottom half of the sixth, Mike Esteva leading off. Esteva one for three today. RBI single. Last inning. Swing and a miss. He's down 0-2 in the count. Max and the bullpen look like they're playing double dutch down there. Oh, he's stretching. I, th I thought he had a jump rope. No, he's stretching. <laughs> I think we'll see Max this weekend in conference play. There's a little chopper to the mound. New pitcher, by the way, is Delosier, and he'll take that one over to first uh, for the 1-3 put out. Delosier in one away. Delosier is a senior from Cape Coral, Florida. He has pitched in two games this year, 1.2 innings, three earned runs, the RAF 16.2, two walks, no strikeouts on the season coming into today. What's Bearcats the, leading this one 8-1. What's the Fawns done today? The Fawns at the plate has uh, oh, grounded out. That one. Too high, too high. Uh, fly ball to center here, and Vasquez now 0 for 3 with a ground out, an error, hit by a pitch, and that fly out to center. Two down, brings up Schaefer. Schaefer just 0 for 1. He has struck out, but he's walked twice. Schaefer's a patient hitter. He's patient, very patient, always has been. It has to be Bill you. Pitch in the dirt, skips away from the catcher, 1-0. Oh. Hmm. This inning brought to you by Snickers. Snickers, yeah, that's a good candy bar. Here's the pitch to Schaefer outside, 2-0. I could eat three or four of them right now, actually. Go see Coach Janosko. He might be able to help you with that. 2-0, the count to Schaefer. Outside, that gets away. 3-0. and Schaefer on the verge of his third walk of the day. Schaefer never swings at a bad pitch. 3-0. and Coach Janosko looks on from the third base coaching box. 
3-0 pitch to Schaefer on the way, called strike three and one. Is there some other way to describe the coaches? Uh, noticed from former broadcasts, that's all we say is the uh, coach looks on from the coaching boxes. Is there anything else we could say? Uh, well, he's looking pretty grumpy over there right now, it's even though we're up 8-1. That's a tough play. That's in there. Oh, foul. Just foul. For Schaefer, count will go full. Well, how would you describe it? Uh, well, he's pacing back and forth. He looks like he's fairly happy, which is unusual with the lead. How can you tell? There's no well, smile on his face. His he's looking face. in the dugout. That's his happy face. Yeah. Wow. Looking okay. in the dugout now trying to make some tactical changes. Oh, when he's looking at a herd of wounded zebra on the savannah. Okay. Uh, he's intense. I, I'd use that word to describe coach. Intense. Intense. Full count to Schaefer. Two down. Here's the pitch from Delosier. Chopper foul. We're in the bottom of the sixth schedule to go seven. Bearcats three outs away from putting this one in the books. Still with a chance to add to it, though, here in the bottom of the sixth. Full count to Schaefer, two down. Nobody on, though. Victor on deck. Walk here. Look for a walk. Well, Schaefer has walked twice today, looking for that third one of the afternoon. 3 2 pitch. Ball four. And no, a. It uh, came in on his fists and caught a piece of the bat, so it's a foul ball. I don't agree with that call. Now Schaefer knew it. He didn't. He didn't attempt to move. Full count once again to Schaefer. Curveball in the dirt. Ball four. Schaefer has drawn his third walk of the afternoon. Oh, well, the animal's up. Or Victor up. Who's up next? Uh, it is Victor. Victor with Russell on deck. Victor. Victor can get on, so the animal can get up here. Eric Victor today, singled. Stole a couple bases. Scored a run. Victor's got two stolen bases? Well, he stole home. I guess that's the only one he had. That's all you need. No, he stole second, too. On that delay, still, He's faster than he looks. He has that top end speed. Victor has top end speed. It's a little different. One and one to Victor. One one pitch. Grounded up the middle. That's a base hit. All right. The animal gets up. I'm going to move Schaefer to second. Victor has his second hit of the day. Okay, Victor's been ripping the ball lately. Left fielder Nolan Russell. I like to see Russell go down the line with one. Nolan Russell has two at bats on the year. He's one for two and scored a run. Fouled away. Yeah, he leads the team in uh, hilarious stories this year on the buses, correct? We're asked by a viewer, a uh, listener, which Florida trip story did Fido share? Well, it involved a, a rental car. Uh, no, it was prior to Mick joining. Uh, involved a rental Mustang and legendary Bearcat Chris Jones. That's about all I can really say. So, uh, Dave, I hope you uh, know the rest of that story. Two runners on for Nolan Russell. 1-1 one, one pitch. Called strike on the outside corner on the curveball 1-2. and two. But I heard uh, Nolan is quite the dresser in the evening. Yes, he uh, uh, he didn't get to surprise you with, on uh, uh, room checks this year, so Coach Duke had got the surprise of his life. Pitches in the dirt two and two. Yeah, no shower cap and no batting helmet this year. Interesting. He changes it up. That's one good thing about him. That's right. Two and two, the count to Russell. Swing and a miss on a high heater, and that's going to end the inning. Bearcats get no runs, 
Two hits, a couple runners left on base. We'll go to the top of the seventh with the score, St. Vincent 8, Altoona 1. Jimmy Baum. Top half for the seventh inning. This is it. Bearcats three outs away from putting this one in the books. Nick Lonegro is in center field for the Bearcats, Jeff. Yeah, change for the Bearcats. Nick Lonegro. Sorry, Keith, I didn't turn your mic back up there. Nick Lonegro has moved to center field for the Bearcats. Galasso has shifted over to right. Kazusko is out of the game in favor of Lonegro. And Lonegro is going to get some work here. Fly ball to center field. Lonegro takes a few steps to his left, makes the catch one away. Vesco's pitching a gem. He's pitching a gem. Well, if Teddy can get through this, he'll just have given up the uh, one run today. How many hits? Seven? Scattered seven hits. Baseman, Jordan Swope. Only one hit was important, the one that was the double down the line there. That's another out. Lonegro's going to set a major league record with one more. <laughs> there goes Lonegro over a couple more steps to his left, two down. So... Teddy, not wasting any pitches here in this inning. There's quickly two down. Once again, if you want to listen to our second game today, and I know you do, you will uh, have to tune in. Uh, you'll have to disconnect and reconnect. We're going to shut down for a little bit between games. We'll be back in about 15 minutes after the conclusion of this one. And we may even have some post-game interviews. We'll try to bring Teddy up here for a little yeah. interview here during the first Very part of the idea. second game. Oh, that's a hit. That's going to be out oh, in the left center field. Lonegro on his horse. Can't get there. Nice try. That's going to go to the fence. Russell will pick it up and send it back in. It's a stand-up double for Heine as a two-out hit here for the Lions in the top of the seventh. I thought that was bending back to him, but not quite. It was a good effort by Nick out there. Second baseman, Derek Danver. First pitch. It's in there. Grounded through the hole in the left side. That's a base hit. Runners now at the corners after the single by Danver. Levi Rensel. Buddy up again. They got Alex up again down there in the pen. Yep. Kazusko gets back to work here. Bearcats trying to finish this one out. One out away, but now runners at the corners. Here in the top of the seventh. Down low. Grounded foul outside of third. Is that Gerhardt making the stop again? Oh, no, that's. Uh, no, who is that? That's Maine. Mainzy. That was a nice play by Maine. That's probably the best play of the game so far. Burkhardt's country's pretty nice. Yeah, Burkhardt's had. Real nice. Pitch in the dirt, nicely blocked by Fichter. Fichter, let's uh, give credit where it's due to. Fichter gunned out two runners today as uh, he really helped the uh, cause. Yeah, he did. Fichter's been playing well. 3-1 count. Pitch from Tedesco is outside, and the Lions have the bases loaded here in the top of the seventh. Be nice if he could get the last out here. And here comes Coach Janosko. And he is going to make the switch. He's going to go to Alex Kazusko. So Tedesco can't quite finish it. He goes a strong six and two-thirds, though. So Mike Tedesco will leave with just one out remaining. Bearcats come out to greet Teddy. Nice effort today for Tedesco. He's given up eight runs. He is responsible for three runners on base, but Kazusko is still just one out away from getting out of this one. Bearcats leading at eight to one. Tedesco, of course, cannot lose. Can only be the winning pitcher here. 
Not a safe situation for Kazusko as he will step in. Let's run through the Bearcat batting today. 0 for 2, but walked and was hit by a pitch. Galasso had the big hits today. 2 for 4, drove in the game's first two runs, a single and a double. Pesteva, 1 for 4 with an RBI single. Vazquez, 0 for 2, hit by a pitch and reached on an error. Excuse me, 0 for 3. Schaefer, 0 for, 2, 0 for 1 and walked three times, scored a run. Victor, 2 for 4 with a couple of singles. And Fear was 1 for 2 today, a single and a walk. Russell, 0 for 1. So. Well, the starters are eating up innings, Jeff. They're eating up innings this year. Yeah, Haller had the complete game shutout. The other day, uh, Gerhardt took a loss in game two down at uh, Newport News, but he did go the distance. Mainzy worked into the seventh, or into the sixth. Mainzy worked into the sixth of the seventh. He we went six and two thirds. And uh, today, of course, Tedesco working six and two thirds. So, yeah, the Bearcat starters definitely really pitching well, and uh, the bullpen's done well. So, Kazusko's coming on now. Alex Kazusko. With an ERA of 2.08, three games. This will be his fourth appearance, 4.1 innings, three runs, one was earned, no walks, one strikeout. So Alex Kazusko in to wrap things up for the Bearcats here. One out away, but he's got a bases loaded situation here. Yeah, he needs to get out of this. 8 1 sounds good. Good start. Good start. Top start. of the seventh, that's a strike. That looked like a slurve. Slurve? Yeah, that's what it looked like. Bennett at the plate. He is 0 for 3 today. Struck out, looking. Grounded into fielder's choice and lined out to Burkhart. Good pitch. There Popped it is. up. The big Indian might have this one. Esteva calls for it and it. makes the catch. The ball game is over. So, just two pitches needed by Kazusko to get the uh, game wrapped up. And the Bearcats have wrapped up the victory. Final score here is 8 to 1. That's going to wrap up our broadcast of Game 1. We'll be back with Game 2 in about 15-20 minutes, and we'll hopefully have some interviews at the... Uh